Hospitalizations here in the Mid-South continue to decline. Doctors, they're seeing more and more patients with happy hypoxia, but don't let that name fool you because there's nothing happy about it. I spoke with an ER physician about this phenomena and found a possible solution for prevention. At this point, when we think of COVID-19, we think of loss of oxygen, heavy chest, fever as the telltale signs, among others. But what happens when a COVID patient is low on oxygen and doesn't even realize it? Doctors like ER physician Dale Kreiner call it happy hypoxia. While we may call it happy hypoxia for the sake of having a term that describes a patient that doesn't feel short of breath with low oxygen levels, uh, it is a serious problem. The American Lung Association says silent or happy hypoxia is a condition where the level of oxygen in our blood is significantly lower than expected, even when all other vital signs are reading normal. There's a mismatch between what we're measuring oxygen wise and the symptoms the patient's having shortness of breath. A healthy blood oxygen level will fall between 95 to 100 percent when measured on a pulse oximeter. This device clamps over your finger to record this measurement. There are times with the happy hypoxic patient that you'll have an oxygen saturation uh, that may be 88, 89, 90 percent. Low saturation levels that require serious medical attention. So if you do test positive for COVID-19 but don't have any symptoms or you're asymptomatic, it may be time to invest in one of these. This it's a pulse oximeter and it's used to measure our blood oxygen levels. It's a really easy way to tell whether or not it's time to head to the hospital, but it should not replace a thermometer. The pulse ox readings are a totally different thing. Uh, it's important for patients to kind of be aware of what normal is. Remember, fever is one of the key symptoms of COVID-19. According to the CDC, a thermometer should be used to detect a fever rising above 99 degrees. The takeaway, pulse oximeters are good health indicators for those who have recently tested positive for COVID-19 and can be used to detect happy hypoxia. As always, if you may have been exposed or are experiencing any coronavirus symptoms, check in with your doctor.